My name is Todd Stiefel. My question is for Robert Wright. And I heard you say several times that you feel it is counterproductive to criticize religion. And I was trying desperately to figure out why you feel that way. And the best answer I heard from you was that they become attracted and push back. And to me, that does not seem like a very valid reason to not push, because of course they're going to push back. So I was wondering if you have any better reasons why we shouldn't criticize religion. I wouldn't say it's always counterproductive to criticize religion. I've just noticed, uh, with fundamentalists in general, um, that it seems to be counterproductive. I mean, I think, you know, Karen Armstrong's thesis is that fundamentalism tends to arise from a sense of threat. And often it's a, it's a threat to the culture you've inherited, the values you cherish. And if that's true, and I think it largely is, then you would expect that the more they feel they're under attack, the more fundamentalists they come. So I, I'm not saying you shouldn't, you, shouldn't uh, you know, feel free to do what you want. Um, I'm saying I think often it, it winds up being um, counterproductive. Uh, you know, if you, I mean, even if your goal is to hasten the day when there is no religious faith, um, if you look at, you know, there are a lot more people in America today who really don't believe, including people who go to Episcopalian churches and stuff. There are a lot more people who, when push comes to shove, you ask them, do you really believe this God? They say no. Almost none of these people were kind of browbeaten into it, you know, by people kind of grabbing them by the lapels. It just kind of fades away. And, and I'm, su I'm suggesting that even if your goal is for religion to fade away, it may be faster to just let it, let it fade away. That may, that may just be the empirical fact. I'm not sure, but that's a possibility. Gelbard and uh, Bob.